evening. Time now for Tuesday Sports. We lead with flag football this evening. The West Bay Goldfield Hellcats lost their first game of the flag football season last Saturday. After dominating their rivals in the previous nine rounds at the Edward Sports Center, the Hellcats came to town and were tamed by the Hammerhead Pirates. But as we would expect, a winning team didn't go down easy. It took double overtime for the Pirates to shake off the Hellcats, 19 to 13 at the Annex. After a 7-7 scoreline at the end of regulation, the game moved on to added time. And after a fearsome duel, the Pirates came away with their swords intact. The Hellcats slip to 9-1, while the Pirates move up to 8-2. The Pirates have another stern test this weekend when they face the league's second-best team, Doghouse Bulldogs. Meantime, the Cayman Islands Football Association prepares to present last season's top performers with their prizes at the annual award ceremony. The spanking new Center of Excellence at Prospect hosts the glamorous occasion September 19th, starting at 5 p.m. It has also been an eventful year for CIFA with the reopening of several football facilities island-wide, some competitive matches, and not to mention the visit by FIFA's president, Sepp Blatter, back in June. It will turn out to be a grand affair. Time for some track and field. Usain Bolt isn't the only Jamaican sprinter setting world records this season. Former 100 meters world record holder Asafa Powell is now the athlete with the most sub-10 clockings ever. Powell overtook American great Maurice Green earlier this season. And this past weekend, he logged sub-10 clockings number 56 and 57 in Europe. Last Friday, he defeated American Tyson Gay in the 100 meters in Brussels before heading to Italy on Sunday to dip under 10 seconds once again. Let's take a look back at his win over Gay last Friday in Brussels in the Golden League meeting, one of four Caribbean winners at the meet. And a fair start of the men's 100 meter dash. Tyson Gay is a step down as Asafa Powell comes up out of his drive phase and now begins to pull away. Tyson Gay with a late surge, but Asafa Powell really moves ahead, winning in nine. There's something about Asafa Powell that's different since the World Championships. Can you put your finger on it? Well, he has taken a lot of the pressure off of himself, and he has stopped looking like he does not want to be there. He is enjoying the moment, and it's been reflected both in his championship racing as well as his European circuit racing at 100 meters. Some of the big-name players keep on moving at the U.S. Open today. Defending champion Roger Federer advances to the quarterfinals. Federer made light work of Spain's Tommy Robredo, 7-5, 6-2, 6-2 at Flushing Meadows. He moves on to face Sweden's Robin Soderling in the final eight. Meantime, Britain's Andy Murray fell at the raft of the Croatian Marin Silic. Number three seed Rafael Nadal had a tough fourth round match against the Frenchman Gail Monfils. Nadal is still battling back from his stomach injury and hopes to be fit for the final match. On the women's side, Kim Clijsters continues her fairy tale comeback. She whipped China's Na Li today 6 2, 6 4 to move on to the women's semifinals. That's the final scoring shot in sports this evening. Weather is next.